Cute Bunch of Lou from Cute on Comics. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm the crowd with love. Um, I have five comic books or something today. Oh my gosh. And the first one is Legendary. And there's like, and this one there's like a train and pirates and stuff. It's good. I like it. It's it's really pretty. And the character, one of the characters was like, calm down. You need to stop stabbing things. Okay. Second one I have is Samurai Jack. Samurai And in the last one, his the spirit and his blade bro um escaped and now his blade is broken and it's basically just like him contemplating his life after oh, like memories so and like sad. like memories and like people and stuff. Next one I have is Lumberjanes number six. And what's it about? It's about Lumberjanes, lumberjacks that are girls. Yeah, they're playing capture the flag, but then like a really intense version with like magic and junk. How can we not looking at the camera? It's crazy. Magic and capture the flag and records. That is good. The next two are related to each other. So They're cousins? No. They're not they're brother and sister? They're from the same <coughs> what? Oh. The same comic book, just different issues. And it's being puppy cat, being four. Mm. Uh, I missed three by accident because I was at camp, I think. I'm guessing that's why I didn't get it. And it's just like their little mini adventures, and it's really cute, and I really like being puppy cat because it's a short film. And it's really adorable. And they're making a series on YouTube. And it comes out on October 6th. Yeah, that's all I have today. That's cute. Um, comic, comic books. books. Alright. See you next time. Oh, I see. It's comic book time. <sighs> well, you know what? Actually, we're going to talk about movies first. Out on DVD this week. This movie never made the theaters here in Vancouver. What a shock. If you've seen it in the theaters, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Lawrence Fishburne in... The Signal. Well shot, science fiction, a little bit of a twist at the end. I do recommend it for pickup on DVD or Blu-ray. So I guess you should talk about comic books now. Huh? Mm. <coughs> well, we're going to switch it up this week. We're going to basically take off the glasses. Because I've read all the comic books. I don't need to read them now. Yay, no more glasses today. Well, I still need glasses to read. It's thanks to the car today. accident. But I don't need them to review. And my hair, look, it's untied. Yes, full beard, shaving real man look. In other words, been too sick to freaking shave this week. Everyone seems to have this sore throat going on. So it's kind of it's kind of like, you know, today's episode brought to you by Hall's Extra Mendeliptus. But besides the point, we're going to do the alternates first. And uh, along the same lines as the cute ones, legendary, why well, pick up Galactica? Steampunk edition. Uh, our work's not great, but I kind of find it's a fun read, so we'll leave it at that. This one, I'm telling you, if you're not buying this series, what is wrong with you? Alien Legion on Civil War. You want great art, great storytelling. Okay, seriously, pick it up. Okay, new one from Image. The Rosh Limit. Sci-fi, interesting, um... Basic premises, colony in space, rich people go there, kind of like no law. I'll give you a bit of a spoiler there, but uh, interesting read. The artwork could be improved, but I'm buying it for the story more than anything else. Uh, Outcast, another good read. Beautiful cover, from, uh, beautiful cover from Image this week. Once again, Lowe has got the best alternate cover of the week. It is a really strong cover. The story keeps on getting better and better. Once more, science fiction, a little bit more on the adult side, but still a good one. Speaking of the adult side, hi Shane, Nick, 
for, for the people who aren't adults, well, guess what? You can't buy this book, but for those of us who can, sex. It's all about sex. Actually, no, it's not. Uh, however, this issue, uh, okay, it's a bit more talky than usual, but it was a good read. And that's it for the books from Image. Okay, from Valiant. Aha, you ready for this? Harbinger Omegas. The Exo Man of War. And of course, the end of the Armor Hunters. All three predictable. Hate to say it, but you kind of knew that's how the book was going to go. You just kind of knew it. <coughs> okay. This one, I'm telling you to buy it. It's a good read. I like the artwork. It's a really kind of fun mind. I'll, I'll, I'll mind fracking. Trying to be polite here. Uh, Pop. Uh, our good buddy Jason Copeland's involved in this book. And you know what? It's really good. Think of it this way. Uh, in issue number one, they shot Justin Bieber in the kneecaps. Just for that alone, you got to buy number two. So pick up Pop. He got an arrow to the knee. <laughs> yeah, well. Savage Sword. Always a fun read. Pick it up. Conan. A good read. Now this next one, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm disappointed with. Gru versus Conan. Uh, the last page, uh, I don't agree with. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, this thing, I was going to give this thing the alternate cover of the week. Uh, however, it just looked too much like a photo, but it's a great book. And it is a really good cover. The Massive. Okay, and, uh, ah, you know it. I'm going to tell you this. You want good artwork? You want good art storytelling? The Tower, yes. Tower Chronicles. Simon Bisley and Matt Wagner. Always a good read. Hi, Matt. I know you don't really watch the show, but Matt's a, a buddy of mine from way, way back when in the Montreal days. Okay, on to Marvel. But first, I have to cough. <coughs> Halls. Yes, yes. Today's episode brought to you by Halls. We're going cherry today. Cherry is delicious. Well, okay, here's a question. Hey, Halls, people at Halls, how come you don't make strawberry? It would probably taste weird. Why? Why, why would it taste weird? They, make they, they don't make cherry gum. They make cherry. They make black cherry. Why not a strawberry thing? You know, come they don't on. make cherry gum because it'll taste weird. And then I've had uh, strawberry flavored gum. I said and I've cherry. Had, I've had cherry gum. I even had cinnamon gum, good old Big Red. Cinnamon is not Cinnamon, good. Oh, the Big Red gum was good. Oh, it's, it's the same thing with, you know, you have juicy fruit. Spearmint? What happened to Double Mint? Well, it's like you can't even buy jelly tots unless you go to a specialized store nowadays. Well, no, you can get them at Candy Isle. Yeah, a specialized store to get jelly tots. It's a candy store. It's a specialized store. Like it's candy. Point. Okay, I think we're, I think we're, we're, we're off topic. Maybe a little. Marvel. All right, we're going to pound through these pretty fast. Inhuman. Okay, read. <sighs> Secret Avengers. This is the, uh, huh, really, book for the week. Okay, in eight months, time runs out. Does that mean there'll be no more Marvel comic books? No, that's not going to happen, folks. Marvel just dropped the new marketing plan. Loki, Agent of Asgard. This was a letdown. Sorry, it was a bit boring. A fun one, though. Thunderbolts. Another fun one. The Invaders. Mighty Avengers, a little, I, I don't know, I was on the board side this week, it just, I mean, the artwork was okay, I just felt that was, it was a boring read to me. Fun read, I'm looking forward to the next one, Guardians of the Galaxy, Ooh, Original Sin. I, I'm not sure why I like this book, but I do, The New Warriors, eh, uh, not the greatest artwork, not the greatest story, but something about the character I just kind of like. It does happen. All right, spider fans out there everywhere. Yes, it's the edge of the Spider-Verse. A non-Peter Parker Spider-Man. Now, and people ask me why am I buying these. It's kind of like what if stories. It's kind of fun. Marvel's best cover of the week. El Savage Wolverine. Ooh. I like the cherry blossom tree. It's so cherry pretty. pretty. Our wasn't bad. Story wasn't bad. So that's it for Marvel's. Okay, you know what time it is, right? I gotta do DC now. 
DC, I don't know what they're doing. It's driving me crazy. But we're off with one of my favorite characters from DC. Booster Gold. Or, spoiler warning, Booster Golds. Uh, there's continuity stuff going on that I'm not sure if DC knows what about. They're trying to fix it, but there was hinted at in that. You had Superman. Or Shazam. Aquaman and the others wasn't a bad one. But it was just, you know, a future Zen story. G.I. Zombie. Not really much of a stretch on the varying cover. It's an okay read. Why I buy this title for a laugh, I guess. I don't take it seriously. Harlequin. Hey, Sinestro. Wasn't bad. Catwoman. Also not bad. The Flash one. It was okay. Not too bad. Justice League Dark. Not very dark. Alright. Red Lantern. It was okay. Uh, we're not done with DC yet, but I just want to do the Vertigos real quick. Dead Boy Detectives. Good read. Getting better. Bodies from Vertigo. So, that's going to bring me to my biggest complaints for this week is the continuity. Alright, Future's End. Now, those of you who have been reading the series know that it's supposed to take place on the New 52 Earth 1 with Heroes of Earth 2 coming over and everything else. However, uh, they're hinting in here at characters from a different Earth because you have all of a sudden Red Arrow, not Arsenal. It just seems to be kind of like they're not sure who's writing what anymore, so it's kind of like it's a different Earth now, which might explain why they're going to get away with it. Really cool cover, best cover of the week all around, Eternal Batman, which means the best DC cover was The Injustice. Uh, getting darker, um, the way this story is going, there won't be much of the universe left in the Injustice universe. Okay, Adventure Superman, fun read. A good read, Batman Universe, but the last one I want to talk about, because guess what, there's a big spoiler coming on this one. Superman, da, 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 the doomed. But in here, the last page. Okay, this is a spoiler last page. Look at the last page here. Just look at that page. Notice all of a sudden you have like the old Teen Titans. You have the old Omac. There's a lot of him. I and you even have Lord Volt and Lady Quark. Most of these worlds here are pre New 52. In other words, it's the old DC universe. What's that tell you? Well, it's also the Flashpoint universe here as well. Can DC finally realize that they're stupid and they made a mistake with New 52 and their continuity? Could it be that they're actually going to end the New 52 and go back to a more classic DC? Hopefully they do. And if they don't, once again, I'll be working on my DC plus 10 pitch real soon, but that just shows the problem with DC. No continuity. That's a hint. Maybe they're going to fix things. We all hope we all, because most of us longtime fans... Nick, you know what I'm talking about. We've been waiting for the DC to go. We made a mistake. It was a big mistake. Let's fix things. Hopefully, this is the precursor to them finally fixing things. And on that note, I'm going to have some more hauls. Did you? Did you give a big thanks for the repair? Oh, yeah. i got to give a thanks out to William. I can't see what company works for, but uh, Duke the Mad Montreal Dog, who's actually from Mexico, had uh, chewed the power cord on our light source, which basically fried it. And this is one of those day lights, those lights that simulate sunshine. That's why it looks so bright. Gives you vitamin so D. Gives you the vitamin D. Those are expensive lights, but thankfully, I was able to get my buddy, who's an electrician, thank you, William, to fix it. And I want to send a special shout out. There's a little girl who's an RX baby. She's two. Happy birthday! Happy Woo! birthday! And to my buddy Aaron, happy anniversary. It's been, what, five years been married now, buddy? How's that ball and chain feeling? And just remember, folks, quite often it's when a, when, a, when a firstborn child turns two years old that the uh, second one normally gets created. That's me. Hint. There we go. And on that night, on that night, on that night, oi, oi, we going Aussie, eh? Oi, 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 o
Tomorrow night's Friday night. Uh, I tell people in Canada, watch Mrs. Brown's Boys. Oh, it's, it's a good show. Uh, what else have we been watching? What's new that we've been Gotham? watching? Gotham. Okay, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, shoot, shoot. Good point. Gotham. I actually had a friend of the family who's not a comic book person watch Gotham with us, and now they're kind of hooked on Batman. So in that sense, Gotham didn't do a bad thing. I mean, there's some things I'm kind of going, well, like as a purist, as you all know, we all are. As a purist, we're going, well, that's kind of wrong. That chronology's wrong. But the fact that they've brought in enough stuff from the comic books, they've actually done a good start to the show. So I'm looking forward to the most of it. And the fact I'm in Vancouver, there's two shows that are filmed here that uh, I get to see a bit of around. Uh, the Arrow is in town being filmed, as Ooh. usual. And the past three days, I've had to put up with, uh, near my work, film crew trucks because they've been filming The Flash in my neighborhood again. Lightning gave me abs. <laughs> so, like I said, DC, maybe you're doing one thing right. Maybe your comic books aren't so good, but your superhero-based TV shows actually aren't that bad. So now I'm going to say good night. Good night. Good night.